Hello everybody, I'm Michael, college tutor and future college teacher. If you're watching this, this means that you will be attending or you are already attending online classes. Today we'll be going through some very important tips to put all chances on your side so that your online lectures go well. Let us start. Number one, what to do before the lecture. To begin, the moment you get a link or an invitation to a Zoom meeting, click on it and see everything works. Check if you need to install the app or update it. Make sure to add a meeting that you receive to your calendar or agenda. On the actual day of the lecture, make sure to be in a quiet place where you can focus and be productive. Also, you should enter the meeting as early as you can. About 10 minutes early and, or more if possible. You can have time to tweak video settings, audio settings, grab pens and notebooks and anything that you need. Moreover, make sure to log into every session using your first name and last name so like this your teacher can recognize you and count you as present. Number two, managing microphones. When you enter the classroom, say hi to your teacher and colleagues to make sure everybody can hear you. And once this is done, hit the mute button. Otherwise, you get things like this. I can't believe we're in the same class my again. Camera? It was That's so hard to see my video in some areas. When you have something to say, Activate your microphone, say what you have to say, and then once it's done, again, turn it off. If possible, try to use headphones or earbuds instead of speakers or your device's built-in microphone. This can help reduce audio issues like feedback loops. Number three, managing cameras. When you're in a Zoom meeting, activate your camera to show you're listening and actually working on the course. Moreover, you want to be wearing clothes you'd be wearing in a classroom or at work. There's also the option of not just seeing the current speaker's cameras, but seeing all cameras at the same time. Activate this so you can see what others are doing and take cues from them. For example, if the teacher is writing something or saying something and everybody starts taking notes and you're not, um, probably you should take down notes yourself. A summary of what we've seen today can be found on page 254 of the textbook. <laughs> Lastly, when you're talking, don't look at your own camera like this and people are like, okay, what is he doing? Look at the webcam so like this people feel like you're actually looking at them and talking to them. Number four, participation. Take notes to show you're active and actually listening during the class. Michael, can you please stop playing with your Nintendo Switch? Oh, no, 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 sir, that, that, that's my tablet. I take notes on it. Please don't lie to me. My eight-year-old son has the same one. You can also use the reactions feature to show you understood something or that something someone just said was confusing. Think before you speak or chat in a Zoom meeting. In a Zoom meeting, you should show the same respect to your instructor and classmates that you do in an in-person lecture. Chat speak or informal language may not be appropriate in a classroom context. Number five, asking questions. You can always ask your questions in the chat since another student might have the answer. If the question can wait until the end of a teacher's explanation, just use the raise your hand option. If your question only concerns you or your situation, you can ask it to your teacher after class or send the question in a meal. Why? Because this saves time for everyone and like this, your teacher will have the time needed to answer your question in sufficient details. This summarizes the tips that you can use to ensure that all your online lectures go smoothly. I hope this helps and I wish you a fun and productive semester. Bye bye.